morning. Welcome back to NTV's Good Life. Good Life, guys. Zach Ritchie joining us now at the round table for this week's Made in Nebraska. Good morning, ZR. Good morning. Didn't have to travel too far for this week's Made in Nebraska. Headed up to Kearney, where, you know, the world of model railroading, you want everything to be very realistic. Well, one Kearney man was buying different sets and different pieces, and he was like, this, it's missing something. So he went ahead and kind of put his pieces, you know, back on the mm -hmm. right track. So let's take a look. Since he was a little kid, Mark Melmkar of Kearney has loved trains. Well, my whole life is trains. He got his first set of tracks when he was around 10 and remembers days visiting his grandparents in Ogallala watching the trains go by. My wife works hard to get me to pay attention to her sometimes. <laughs> but as Mark's collection of model trains grew... I built these four cars and three cars and caboose from scratch. He realized they were missing something. Many of the cars didn't come with seats in them. Nobody made them. As someone who loves engineering and design, Mark went to Central Community College in Hastings to learn how to make molds to create the missing plastic seats. And this is the very first mold that I made. There was a need when I started. There was nobody making seats. He made seats for himself, but soon word made its way down the tracks. Pretty soon my thousand seats was gone and I didn't do too many of my own cars. So he created Plainsman Manufacturing in the Palace Car Company, working and perfecting each mold for hours upon hours on end. I got to spend a lot of money and invest a lot of time to get the mold made before I can get the first part out to sell it. Now Mark has 12 different styles of seats and 40 different interior products he sells. His seats have crossed the tracks all over the country and the world. 24, 26, 28. One of the things I can offer is service. And I get people that call me up and ask for information, how do you do things? and I feel great that I can help him out. Mark's currently working on becoming a master model railroader. A love of trains will take him there, and he will be sure to have each detail right, down to the last seat. For this week's Made in Nebraska, Zachary Chi, Carney. Very impressive. He took a hobby and learned more about it, and look where it's taken him. That's really cool. Exactly. I mean, I love his, like, one quote there. He made a thousand seats for himself to begin with and yeah. then he couldn't use any of them because he had to sell all of them because <laughs> yeah. that m there was that much interest in them yeah. and he has so many different products now you can go find them at his website nice. it's taken him all over the world wow. and people are just you know buying these seats up and made right here in Kearney. Very nice. So nice. how did you get in touch with him? I uh, found him through Grow Nebraska nice. he's a member there and then he's working um, I said in the last part of becoming that master mm -hmm. railroader mm -hmm. there are only f like 500 of those in the entire world. Beautiful. And, and what qualifies him to be that again? Um, you really have to kind of work on your set and it has to go through certain criteria and certain model making and uh -huh. you know be realistic and then mm -hmm. you also have to do a little research with the piece too yeah. and it has to match up with like a, a historical picture as well. Wow. There's 500 in the world and he was telling me if he gets this he will be a, either the fifth or the sixth right here in central Nebraska nice. as part of their club. That is, that is quite an honor. That's yeah. very impressive. Yeah. And before we go to break, you need to mention something that you mentioned to me about the story you did last week. Yeah, from Friday's Food Finds mm -hmm. with the Haunted House. They raised 921 pounds of food wow, this that's year. Great. So Almost half the Thanks for fun. going out and supporting yep. them. Very nice. And so if you have an idea for Zach, it's easy to get in touch with him. Yep, just let me know on at my email, zrichinebraska.tv or newsnebraska.tv, or let me know on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks, Zach. All right, friends, stick around. We're in the kitchen next with Mr. Alex Park.